Hello YouTube community, my name is TheJackGamer13 and today we're going to be talking about um, sort of a rebut to what happened at the end of the uh, Mycochondriac podcast. Um, generally that podcast is going to be me talking about my daily life, it's kind of like my life story was, but probably a bit more on the depressing side or the, um, uh, I don't know, uh, honestly what I'm going to be doing with that just yet, but for the most part, it's just going to be me talking to you guys about stuff. Um, but in that, I talked about um, this one girl that I've been talking with who I had feelings for, and it looked like things were going to go pretty well, you know? We had talked about it. I let her know she seemed to like me a little bit too, and it, it looked like things were going to work out the direction I wanted them to. However, um, talked with her last night, the 11th, and the 11th of May in 2015, for those of you in the future. And I realize now that what I wanted was too much for her to be able to do. And it wasn't what she wanted. This entire time, I had been pretty consumed with the thought that it's what she wanted. I had convinced myself. And so, in order to suit what I wanted, I made her a completely different person than she was. I tried to change her, basically. And that's not something you do at all. It doesn't work. You can't change people, and you shouldn't change people. It's wrong. And I, I did. I, I tried, and it, I didn't want to do that. That's not what I set out to do. I thought way too much about everything, but not enough. If that makes any sense, I overlooked simple little details that might have been able to help me understand that maybe this wasn't the correct idea, maybe this wasn't the best move. And I took small little sections and made those, blew them out of proportion. I still have hope, sadly, <laughs> because that is going to ruin our friendship, that hope. And it might have already ruined it. But I still have hope that she's doing this mainly because she doesn't want to see me get hurt. That she's telling me that she doesn't like me. Because she doesn't want me to have to deal, you know? She might be scared herself, I think, is another part. She's scared to take it a step further for multiple reasons. I'm going to be leaving for college. Um, she's never really been able to do this before. People that like her scare her because she's not used to that, I guess. Um, it, it, there's, there's a lot of different things that are involved. And I honestly can't shake the, the thought that this is more just because she can't deal with it. Or she doesn't want to deal with it because it's not something that she feels she has to right now and that isn't something I want to think it's something that is instilled in here because of how obsessive and controlling I guess I was when this whole thing began I'm trying to get rid of that side because it's not healthy for maintaining any sort of friendship or relationships with anyone and today's only the first day, aside from everything. So maybe I'm going to do a daily update, let you guys know what my mental state is. Today, I felt distant from everything and everyone because I promised her that I would not talk with her or do anything. I was going to distance myself from her as much as I could so that she could have time alone and I could maybe 
just separate myself from whatever it was that I was feeling. And I was able to get through it. But that's what it was. I was getting through it. It wasn't having a normal day in which I wasn't thinking about her. You know, it wasn't easy. But like I said, it's just day one. I'm going to keep trying. And I need your guys' support. Because as much as I want something to, to work out, it's not going to. There's a quote from uh, from a short film by Don McPhere, or Don Farah, um, that's sort of becoming the motto to my life right now. Because I saw this coming. When I first started out and I asked her to prom, I kind of thought in my mind, this isn't going to work. But I didn't want to believe it. Now I have to. So what the quote is, is... It doesn't matter that I see how something is going to end. It doesn't hurt any less when it actually does. Senior year's coming to an end. I got three days left. I'm going to be losing contact with a lot of my friends. And that's a lot for me to have to get through. I wanted to have a connection with someone so that I could maybe power through this. But I forced myself onto people. I forced myself onto her. And that's not right. I shouldn't have done it. I hate myself for doing it. But not in the way that it sounds. I don't hate myself enough to want to do physical damage to myself. I, I do emotional damage all the time, but that's just because I'm stupid. <laughs> you know, I can't control my emotions yet. I'm raging hormones, a 17-year-old kid. I, I am a kid still. And, and it's just a lot of stuff <laughs> is going to pile on. Um, and I'm not good at dealing with it. I'm alive, and I guess that's all I can really, at this point, offer myself is to survive, to keep going, to keep moving forward. And then, once I've gotten through as much as I can possibly get through, to come out of the other side and say, look, look at how much ground we've covered. There's still mountain ahead of us. But we've crossed over this hill. You know? Something motivational like that. I need I need something to pep talk me. But I wanted to give you guys an update. I wanted you guys to know what was going on. It's probably going to become a topic that I'm going to talk about a lot. Because it's going to be on my mind a lot. And the only way to deal with a problem is to talk about it. Even if I don't have anybody that responds, even if nobody ever watches these videos, as long as I've talked about it to myself and I realize where my mistakes are and then I go back and I watch it and I say, look, that's right, I know exactly what I'm talking about, or no, that's not quite right, let me fix this in my mind, let me work it out. I want to be friends with her because she's a cool person. And I don't want to have feelings that are going to jeopardize that. But at this point, I don't know if that's even possible. <laughs> I think I crossed a point of no return and if that's how it's going to be so be it I'm never going to forget this this is something that's part of my life now and I can't run from it I can't hide from it I have to face it I have to man up and I have to face it and I have to deal with it if she's going to be there to help me through it cool. I highly doubt that that's a good idea because that's what kind of started this in the first place, her helping me through something unknowingly on her behalf, unknowingly led to this whole thing. 
What she suggested is I get a few more friends to talk with us about. And so that's why I'm coming to you, YouTube community. That's why I'm coming to you, society. That's why I'm telling you guys this. Because you, like I said, at the beginning of either this rendition or the one that I accidentally didn't press record on and did, you guys are an extended family. And though you may be small in number right now, in the future, I'm going to, I guarantee, I'm going to have a decent following and people are going to come back and watch this film. And I just want you guys to know that you guys mean a lot. You do. You truly do. Anytime I get a comment, anytime I see a like, anytime my video gets shared, or anytime I get a subscriber, everything just feels great. I'm not super great at being able to keep schedules. I'm not the greatest YouTuber at talking and being able to explain my feelings about stuff or have fun in a way that makes my videos entertaining to watch. I'm not the greatest at that. I'm not the best YouTuber there is, and I don't claim to be. I'm not the greatest person there is, and I don't claim to be. I have a lot of problems. But maybe I can use those problems to my advantage. I can turn those problems and those disadvantages and basically do like a judo flip on them and make that become something that benefits me, makes me a better person. If I overcome it or something, if I use it in a way that isn't destructive, and that's what I need to do. That's what I need to get over. I sent her a message trying to tell her this exact same thing. Um, I don't know if I did that as well with that message as I did in this video. I actually kind of feel pretty pretty confident now at this point that I, I can overcome the feelings and just remain a friend. I feel I can. And as long as I start thinking it, it can happen. If you think it hard enough, it'll happen. But until I get that message, I don't think I'm ever really going to... Until I get a message responding to that, I don't think I'm going to be able to get over it. I'm going to see her tomorrow. we got Annie Club. I'll talk to her a little bit then about it. Um, maybe. Or I just won't talk to her about it at all. And we'll have a friendship. And things will be the way that they need to be. Not the way I want them to be, of course. Um, but the way that they need to be. <sighs> it's going to be difficult really is but I got some videos to edit uh, I also need to do some research on finding a monitor for my computer so that I can start doing some more editing and stuff um, actually I think instead of editing tonight I'm gonna be doing a video Dark Souls maybe sounds fun alright I'm gonna go ahead cut this video up take out parts that aren't necessary some long pauses because I did have a few of those that weren't necessary or maybe I'll just leave it uncut. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to become a weekly thing until... Not a weekly, daily thing. Until I can uh, overcome any of the problems that I had. Um, it's going to be hard tomorrow. Because I do have any club. And I'm not going to be getting home to like 6. But uh, I will make an effort to update you guys and let you guys know. Hopefully this video will be going up the same day that I did it. On the 12th of May. So, uh, my name's Jack I'm a 13. Um, I'm, like I said, probably going to do an actual video of, like, Dark Souls and stuff like that. Going to be a little bit more um, happy instead of the depressing-ish tone of me realizing that uh, I'm not going to get something I wanted. Or I thought that I wanted. I, I still can't really tell how that works. But, um, yeah. I guess uh, this is what it's kind of like to be in a friend zone, you know. Whew. Okay, I signed out. I ended the video already. I don't know why I keep trying to say stuff. Uh, it feels like everything's just sort of not wanting to come out.
the way it needs to, but whatever. 